What's everybody? How's it going? Austin Prechtel, Prechtel of a performance, coming at you live today. It's Wednesday. Happy freaking Wednesday, everybody. As you're tuning in, make sure to drop a like on the video. Helps with the algorithm. Um, if you're watching at a later time, hashtag replay, let me know that you saw it. But today, today's live is going to be about the concept of doing something that makes you uncomfortable each day and why it's important. Um, and why I do it. Uh, I try to make an effort to do something that gets me out of my comfort zone uh, at least once a day. Um, and I've done a pretty good job at making that happen. Um, and honestly, it's one of those things that I feel like is, you know, really attributed to the amount of growth that I've been able to have personally um, when it comes to my own like personal growth and it's something that I encourage all my clients to do whenever they're first starting their fitness journey because it's going to help them it's going to help them um, in the long run I might not directly say like do something specifically that makes you uncomfortable but I tell them to do things that they normally wouldn't do or that they normally haven't done in the past why do you do that well Imagine yourself, think about this for a second, um, before we kind of get into it, like, have you ever had a time where you felt uncomfortable, where you felt like anxious about doing something, where you felt like a little antsy, or, you know, you questioned whether you should do this thing or not, even though you kind of want to, even though you know that it would probably make you a better version of yourself or make your life better um, in some way or another, but you didn't do it because you were too scared to do it. You didn't do it because you were afraid of what would happen or what people would think or what, you know, could happen to you. Maybe you'd be embarrassed or you were too nervous because you were scared to do it or, you know, things like that um, that caused you to not do it. And then what happened afterwards is that probably a couple, even a couple of minutes after you did it or maybe later in the night, later in the day, you're before bed, you lay in there thinking like, shit, what if I would have done that? And then you're left with these what ifs. You're left with these what ifs of like, you know, what if I would have done that? What if I would have started today? What if I would have talked to that person? Uh, what if I would have taken that job? Or what if I would have, you know, um, you know, worked out that day or, you know, ate right or, you know, whatever it may have been. Like, there's all these what ifs. And so that's one of the big reasons why I encourage people to do something that makes them uncomfortable every day. Um, whether it's physically or mentally or emotionally, um, it's important to do it um, because you're in a box right now like with where you're at right now if you aren't progressing if you aren't changing and you know heading in the right direction in terms of where you're at versus where you want to be you're in a box right now you've put yourself in a box and that box is your is, is your potential for growth right that box is your potential for growth if you're in this box nothing new is going to happen to you you're not going to change at all unless you do something that expands that box and so what happens is whenever we get outside of our comfort zone, we do something that we, you know, may not feel, you know, uh, we may not feel totally comfortable doing. That's the point, right? If we do something that makes us uncomfortable, then we expand that box and that box, you know, grows. And we then are able to fill that space and expand our level of comfort and our level of growth. And so some things just some examples of things that i have done in the past that have helped me and i would encourage you guys to to do more of because you know don't stagnate like like stagnation is probably one of the worst things i could think of like doing and having happen to me now that i've gone from somebody who felt like he was stagnated in life to doing something that i'm truly passionate about and something that i i love waking up to do every day because I got outside of that comfort zone. But like, like, like any time I've ever gotten outside of my comfort zone, good things have happened. Good, really good things have happened to me because I took chances and didn't care or think about like the impact or the, or like what, what bad thing could happen if I didn't do this thing. Like I always thought of like the opportunity that could come of it and yeah every t not every time i took you know and got uncomfortable and, and did did the thing that you know i you know said i was going to do not every time it paid off right like it's not going to pay off every time but it does in a sense because you're growing your ability to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and so you know and almost almost every time i've ever like taken a chance on something or anytime i've ever you know really you know focused on you know, being uncomfortable and use that as like a compass to guide me to do the things that I think 
the, or to do the things that I should do, like using that like feeling of uncomfort and discomfort and and like maybe even like fear and using that as a compass to guide me to be like, you know, to be that guide for me to do what I should be doing. Um, you know, it's always paid off. It's always benefited in one way or another. And so I encourage you guys, like just to, for an example, like, you know, last September, I maybe went live ever like shit, like four times ever. Maybe I went live like four times ever, not on my story, I, you know, and I went on my story and stuff like that, but you know, maybe I went live four times before that time in September when I did a challenge, there was a challenge and I was like, it was like, go live for 14 days and just do a topic each day and do it for 14 days straight and see what happens. And you'll probably feel a lot better. I was scared shitless to do lives every single day for 14 days. Are you kidding me? Like that's terrifying. Like I'm some, and I'm somebody who, you know, feels like he's pretty outgoing, right? I'm pretty extroverted in general. Like, you know, I, I used to do like choir, I would sing, I would do musicals, I would do acting and stuff like that. Like, like coming from me, somebody who's, you know, feels kind of, you know, comfortable publicly speaking and talking to people in general to go on camera like this and talk to people on uh, about random topics of my life or like about random subjects of nutrition and things like that. It's, it's one of those things. It's like, like I was freaking scared. Like it was, it made me really uncomfortable to see myself on camera and to be talking to myself on camera right now, like I am right now. But because I got comfortable with being uncomfortable, I now feel I feel like I'm pretty good at doing this shit. I feel like I'm pretty good at talking on camera uh, because I've pretty much done it almost every single weekday since then, right? I've done probably, ah, uh, shit, probably over 100 times I've gone live on here and talked about stuff with everybody on here. And it's because of me getting comfortable with being uncomfortable and pushing myself outside of that box and expanding my box, now I'm good, I'm pretty good at this shit. Same thing could happen to you guys for your fitness journeys, right? Same thing could happen to you guys for your nutrition journeys. If you are just, you know, willing to get uncomfortable and dig a little deeper and be okay with, you know, not feeling totally okay sometimes, like you will surprise yourself in terms of how much growth you can actually like, how much growth can actually happen. Another example, like, you know, I, and it's one of those things, it's a skill, right? It's a skill set. Not necessarily being good at these random things that you're trying out that make you uncomfortable that are new to you, but the skill set and the skill of being open to those experiences and being open to, you know, in, in, in trying new things, right? Being open to those things. Like now, anytime some cool, like something like a challenge happens or there's something like right now, like two days ago, like randomly I saw cold exposure therapy like challenge, like take a cold shower every day and try to get better each day. Right now, like, I'm taking a cold-ass freaking shower every day. Why? Well, that sounded kind of cool. Like, there's some health benefits to that, potentially. And it's a challenge. And it's extremely uncomfortable to do. It's not fun. <laughs> but it's one of those things where it's like, if you're willing to, you know, like, grow and get uncomfortable in order to grow, you're probably going to benefit from it. So it's like, you know, doing that and like, by the end of it, I'm probably going to be pretty good at dealing with cold, wet, like cold water. Um, you know, there's been times where it's just like, you know, like, you know, embracing that discomfort is like, is, is a skill that's going to take you like, it's going to give you tenacity. It's going to give you that integrity to be able to push through things that aren't fun. Right. Um, you know, like, like there's been a lot of times like, you know, the, the same thing can be applied to working out. Like I was saying earlier, when I first started working out, I was like 16 or 17 years old whenever I first ever probably ever touched a weight. Um, the barbell, like I couldn't even bench the barbell. I, I, could, I could barely bench the barbell and it was extremely uncomfortable doing it because I felt weak. I didn't feel strong. I felt weak. I felt like, you know, other people that were lifting weights around that time, you know, ahead of me, they were already benching like, you know, a plate on each side and all this stuff. And I felt uncomfortable because I couldn't lift as much as them. But I got through that. I worked through that. I got over it. And because of that, now I'm able to lift pl like, like way more than that, right? Like you, 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 it's like like the goldfish type of thing. It's like you're only going to grow as big as the container that you're put in, putting yourself into, right? Your personal growth is the goldfish, and your like limit, limit limiting yourself is that bowl. And if you want to get bigger and you want to grow, you're going to have to get a bigger tank, right? So 
that's what I encourage you guys to do. And that's anytime, like, you know, anytime you do something new, like a new skill, like learning how to track macros. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. It's not fun to like, you know, learn these things. It can be fun because once you start learning about it, you're seeing a lot more progress and results. But like at first it's uncomfortable, like mentally. It's like, it's one of those things it's like, ah, I don't want to feel dumb. Like, I don't want to like, you know, mess up or whatever. Like who cares? Like you're going to mess up. That's part of it. I see you, dude. How's it going? How's it going, man? Um, yeah, um, but like, it's one of those things, man, like, 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 if you are, you, you know, get okay with being embarrassed, like, get okay with being embarrassed sometimes, like, like, accept that it's gonna happen, but it also accept that, like, nobody's paying attention to you, nobody is paying attention to you like you were paying attention to you, nobody cares what's going on with your life, or what you're doing in the gym, or if you're not lifting as much as other people, they're all thinking the same shit, they're all in their own head too. Like that's the that's the funny thing about it is like everybody's so worried about what everybody else's thinking, but no, everybody else is thinking the same shit that you're thinking. So you know, and you're all tra everybody's trapped in their own little like 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 it's like sitting in your car and driving and like there's all these cars going on and every single car has its own little thing going on inside of it, like its own little ecosystem of thoughts and like interactions and shit. That's how your head is whenever you're at the gym. Or doing anything else is like everybody's worried about being embarrassed to the point where you know they don't do anything to expand themselves. So you know, like the same thing applies like to like I said, like to your nutrition, to like weight loss, getting uncomfortable with you know checking out the scale. Maybe you're somebody who hasn't looked at the scale in years because you're scared of what it's going to say. But you need to check it to get a first like to get a number that you can go off of so that you can track and make sure that you're making progress like getting uncomfortable with you know jumping off like whenever you're a kid it's like jumping off a diving board like you're you know like you're scared to do it at first but after you do it it's pretty fun right like you're you you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable um that's one of the like that's one of the pillars of like growing and like developing and progressing in life in general and I encourage you, like, you know, there's been times when I was, like, super freaking uncomfortable, like, like, you know, like, just to challenge myself, like, sometimes I'll just randomly talk to people, like, in not as much now because of COVID shit, but, like, you know, there's been times where I was like, you know, I'm just going to talk to somebody, make myself feel uncomfortable, and sometimes it worked out fine, and, like, it was a fine, fun interaction, other times people are just like, eh, piss off, and, like, that's cool, too, like, you know, it's one of those things, like, like, challenging yourself, it builds that tenacity, it builds that thick skin, it builds that, like, willingness and openness to new things, and the more new things you try, probably the happier you're going to be, right, and the more you're going to learn, and the more you're going to be willing to learn, and things like that, so, that's all I really have for today, guys, I just want to talk about that for a second, just because, like, if you're going to start a fitness journey, if you're going to start a weight loss journey um, in general, and, and if you're going to pursue something that you want to be successful at, you need to be okay with being uncomfortable. You have to embrace it. You have to let it just, just acknowledge that it's going to happen, right? It's going to happen. And the sooner you accept that you're going to be uncomfortable at times, the sooner you're going to progress and the sooner you're going to grow and the sooner you're going to reach your goals. So that's all I have for you guys for today. That's my live for today. If you got value from this, drop a like. Let me know that you saw it. If you got value from this, let me know your number one takeaway in the comments down below. So that way, you know, what's something that made you uncomfortable at one point in time that you're no longer uncomfortable about? Or what's something that you are scared to do right now or nervous to do and you want to get better about doing and you want to get more comfortable doing? I challenge you today, like I challenge you to do one thing every day that makes you uncomfortable, whether it's mentally, physically, or emotionally. Do something and expand that box that you're putting yourself into so that way you can grow. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Have a great freaking rest of your Wednesday, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.